Barbara Nicolato, Nick Snacks here, and today we're going to have some fun with gilding flakes. I'll be going over some uses and techniques. Today I'm going to show you some of the projects I've made using uh, the metallic gilding flakes jewel and glamour and I'll illustrate some of the techniques I've used as well. This particular card, Good Wishes, has the stencil Indian Moth by Sweet Poppy Stencils. Inside is Cardio's WordWise stamp and these were made with the gilding flakes and the score tape. On this particular card, I used Sweet Poppy Stencils Autumn Leaves Stamps with a glue pad. Here I have the Oracle of Inia 543 and the Owl from Broadwin Malin, Lavinia 639. And here the gilding flakes are actually in the background uh, using a stencil from Lavinia called Charming. This last one actually is a die cut with the gilding flakes inside of it. So I'm going to be using a list of different um, supplies that I have on hand. But first I want to show you the main things that I'll be using. You'll find a complete list of supplies at the bottom of the video. Lavinia Metallic Gilding Flakes. These are actually fine pieces of foil that have been heated at various temperatures to bring out the color in the metal. They're very fine and very lightweight. So when you open these up, make sure you don't sneeze or cough because they will be flying all over the place. To work with these, I like to use <clears throat> this double-sided sponge. It's actually two different sponges together. It's called Rub It, Scrub It, and it comes in big pieces. And I cut it down to suit my need for the project. One of the glues I'm going to be using is called the Essential Glue Pad. It actually comes clean and dry with the glue and you just put the glue onto it and let it sit for a while and then this is not an ink pad it becomes a glue pad score tape in different sizes half inch eighth of an inch quarter of an inch i'm going to be using different um, pieces of this and i'll be using a bone folder to burnish it down and one of the things that I really like to use to clean up my workspace is the Nouveau Sweeper Brush. It works great when you're using gilding flakes, when you're using glitter, or actually um, anything that you want to clean off a surface without having to touch it. Express It Double-Sided Sheets is also an adhesive that I'm going to be using uh, for the projects today. I'm going to start out by simply using glue. I have two stamps set up on stamping boards. Uh, this one, Sweet Poppy Stamps Autumn Leaves. I'm using the maple leaf. And this one, the Lavinia 540, um, excuse me, it was the Lavinia Green Man. And he's uh, 458, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm 
I'm going to ink this up like I would if it were an ink pad. And I'm quickly going to put a sheet of printer paper right there to catch flakes. And I'm going to take some of these flakes here and place them over my project. Now, sometimes I like to open them up and lay them out over the glue, but you don't always have to do that. Um, sometimes I see some colors that I really want to show, so then I'm really careful about um, the way I lay it out. Other times I could just do it haphazardly, and it's okay that they don't all lie flat either, because our Rub It Scrub It brush is going to uh, smooth everything into the glue. by making small, um, round, circular action here. I'm just rubbing the gilding flakes into the glue. And there's one way that this can be used. And it always shows up beautifully, I think, on black cardstock. But right now, um, I'm just gonna take a baby wipe, wipe this. It's not like some of those glues where you gotta get them off immediately or it ruins your stamp. I get it off, you could use this, you could use a chamois or whatever it is you clean your stamps with and it's good to go. <clears throat> now with the Green Man, I'm gonna do the same exact technique, but I'm gonna put him on, <clears throat> I'm gonna put him on this sheet here that I've lifted from gel plates. This is just some of my backgrounds that I stash away and use later. So I'll do the same thing, <clears throat> and we'll see the difference between using black card and using something that we've already put a background on. Look at the color in this one. Wow. This is jewel. Can you see that? I hope you can see that on the video, on the camera. Amazing. One side is copper and the other side is gorgeous colors. For those of you have that have done any copper uh, flame flame art, which I have last summer, um, when you expose copper to heat different temperatures, it oxidizes and gorgeous colors result. And I have made pieces with metal, with copper sheets, and turned them into, um, actually if they were thin, I was able to die cut them, but I've turned them into pieces of jewelry. So copper is really a beautiful metal. I think I've got plenty here. All right, let's see if I can work this in before my glue dries. Little gentle strokes. Some of these larger pieces can be salvaged. Some people like to salvage even the smaller 
parts. I have not done smaller parts, so I'm not sure what they would be like. But um, this is an interesting... This is an interesting uh, formation here. Look at that. Pretty. Really nice colors. And that can be worked with to ma be made into a beautiful card. So just to compare, we have the metallic uh, gilding flakes on a black and on a colored background. Both of them are beautiful. Now I'm going to use two stencils in a different way. Um, this is Harmony by Sweet Poppy, and this is the Oriental Cherry Blossom by Sweet Poppy. This one I've prepared because I'm not going to use the entire stencil. So I used some uh, Sweet Poppy low tack tape, and I've covered this part. These are the two flowers I'm going to use, and I'm going to be using them on a light background. With this one, Harmony, I'm going to be using that on a dark background. And my adhesive for this part is going to be the Express It uh, double-sided adhesive sheet. So I'm going to get that ready. And one part peels. And yep. Okay, so as this peels, I'm going to put the black sheet onto this because it's very sticky. I'm going to do it this way because it's not going to cover the entire sheet. There you go. This can be cut down later. I'm removing the backing. And I'm going to make sure this is burnished down. I'm not worried about the uneven edges because this will be cut when it's finished anyway. Okay, I'm going to put this aside. And <clears throat> I also did it to a, a small little piece of black cardstock, the same thing. This is Express It. And I also put a piece of Express It on the back because I'm going to die cut a word from this. And I want to be able to peel off the back and adhere the word rather than use glue on the back of the word. All right, so this, these both are going to get the flakes. Let's try that now. Glamour this time. Oh, some of these sheets are large. There's a pretty blue in here. Orange, more blue, gold, copper. Best to do this when you don't have a cold. Can you imagine breathing heavy and sneezing? These, this will be all over the room. It's a lot neater than working with glitter, though. <laughs> all right, let's see what can, I can do here. Oh, wow. Look at the colors in this one. Can you see that? Oh, they're gorgeous. Teal, turquoise, orange, gold, silver. Wow. Okay. I think with this one, I'm going to peel it off. There we go. Now this is tacky. 
I'm just going to lie this right over it. And we'll worry about taking that off later. Wow, look at these sheets. I cleaned up my area a little bit, and these are the two projects I just worked on. And I'm going to take a break right now, and I'm going to go over to my die cutting machine, and I'm going to cut this die, the word thanks, on this card. I'll be right back. I'm going to set this aside for later. It's time to peel this off, my card. Now, bear in mind that I'm doing this off camera. What I'm doing is putting this at the end of my workbench and pulling it forward. And as I'm doing it, I'm going to peel this off. Not, you're not going to see too much of it as I'm doing it. All right, just the final little piece over here. Bear in mind that in between all this gilding, there is a sticky adhesive sheet paper there. So you don't want to leave that sticky. One of the things you may decide to do is use a very fine glitter, a micro glitter on there, and then brush off the extra. What I'm going to do today though, is I'm going to put clear glass micro beads by Sweet Poppy onto this project. and see what that looks like once they stick. Wow. All right, so these clear glass beads, and by the way, the beads come in different colors. So if you're doing this on a white card stock or, or you wanna use different color beads, These will get poured back into my container. This is a technique that I learned from Sue Wilson. She calls it her high-low technique because the high part is here where the glass beads are and the low part is in here where the gilding flakes are. So I can trim this down and go ahead and use this with my project. All right, just did another little cleanup and I'm back. We're going to take this um, stencil here, put that down, and this time I'm going to use it with the glue pad through a stencil instead of the glue pad through with a stamp. And I'm going to make sure, I'm gonna press and make sure that the glue goes through because that stainless steel stencil is, whoa, is uh, 
is thick. I'll put that through. Okay, hopefully I've done a good job with that. Lift it up. And I can see right now that the glue did not designate these little um, anthers. So that's something I'm probably going to be doing with a colored pencil or something. What if? If the if the glue ever gets into an area where you don't want the uh, gilding flakes, cover it anyway. And then once you have it covered, there's a very easy way to remove it. And I'm going to show you that when I go back to the green man we previously did. Okay, so that looks nice. I think it's a matter of taste. But to me, I, I tend to like it more on darker cardstock. It seems to show up better. Do you see here I have a little bit of gilding flakes? I take the, my mono sand eraser, go over it lightly. And there it is. It's so much easier than avoiding it with the flakes and then trying to get rid of the glue. Let me fix this up, trim it a little, and I'll be right back. Okay, I fixed this up by using some of my gel pens and going over uh, the outline of the stencil. I think that looks pretty good. All right. Now, I'm going to take this off. Now, score tapes. These are excellent adhesives also for these projects with the gilding flakes. Say you wanted the background of your project. Let's see. Say you wanted this part to look the same as the gilding part. Well, you could take a sheet of cardstock and you can affix this to the edges and then put the gilding flakes on it and then put it on your card. And there you go. It looks like the background is done that way. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do it to this right here to show you what I'm talking about. So, burnish down my score tape, lift it up. A few more gilding flakes. And now I'm going to affix the rest of this. There we go. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Let me just grab a sheet of cardstock to make a mat for this piece. All 
All right, so I've cut this slightly larger. And of course, the cream and the white don't go well together. So let's fix that. I'm using a half inch score tape. It's always important to burnish the score tape <clears throat> so it doesn't come off. Sometimes I'm too hasty and do just that with my little pick tool here. Now I'm going to cover the tape with small and large pieces of the gilding flakes till it's com almost completely covered. We finished off this paper and now we're going to glue it together and this will become the topper for one of my cards. Now look at that, how beautiful does that look? All right, the last thing I wanna do is finish cleaning up the green man. And I can do this in two ways, where I see some stray, no, where I see some stray gilding flakes, I can just take it off with this. Uh, the nose has a lot here, uh, as, do, as does this part here. So the flakes only stick to where the glue is. Therefore, if I scrape along where there isn't glue, the extra flakes come right off. You just have to be careful you don't scratch the area that's supposed to have the flakes on it. But it can be cleaned up like so. Up in here, I'm gonna to try to use this mono eraser ever so lightly because I don't want to take off what's supposed to be there and it seems to be doing a pretty good job <sighs> all right I'm going to make these cards into little projects and uh actually I'm going to make my projects into little cards and I'll be back momentarily to show you how I finish them so let's go back and see how I finished up the projects. With the green man, I decided to keep him a little simple. I put some Nouveau glitter drops on here and a very fine copper thread with the saying from Lavinia that I know that's been discontinued. So there's my green man. 
With this one, I just adhered the topper onto a piece of folded card. Here I added the topper to a piece of metallic copper cardstock and then adhered it to a folded card. Inside, I used the gilding flakes with the score tape and the sentiment is from Cardio. Wise words. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here over top of this, but I've mounted it with a, a copper metallic type of cardstock and a black. And I think that's really striking. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please see below the video for a complete list of supplies and visit us at Del Bellows for most of your crafting needs. If you haven't already, won't you please join our two Facebook groups so you can share your creations and find inspiration. Have a happy crafting day.